Today's Gospel, Monday, September 18, is taken from St. Luke, chapter 7, verses 1 to 10. When Jesus had finished all his words to the people, he entered Capernaum. A centurion there had a slave who was ill and about to die, and he was valuable to him. When he heard about Jesus, he sent elders of the Jews to him, asking him to come and save the life of his slave. They approached Jesus and strongly urged him to come, saying, He deserves to have you do this for him, for he loves our nation, and he built the synagogues for us. And Jesus went with them. But when he was only a short distance from the house, the centurion sent friends to tell him, Lord, do not trouble yourself, for I am not worthy to have you enter under my roof. Therefore, I did not consider myself worthy to come to you. But say the word, and let my servant be healed. For I too am a person subject to authority, with soldiers subject to me. And I say to one, Go, and he goes. And to another, Come here, and he comes. And to my slave, Do this, and he does it. When Jesus heard this, he was amazed at him, and turning, he said to the crowd following him, I tell you, not even in Israel have I found such faith. When the messengers returned to the house, they found the slave in good health. The Gospel of the Lord. Ang ating faithful reflection ay mula kay Brother Paulo Fresnosa ng Hand of the Sower Catholic Community. Matinding Kapitan. Buong pagpupuri at pasasalamat ko sa Espiritu Santo sa biyaya na maintindihan ang pananampalataya ng uncanonized saint sa Ebanghelo ngayon. Pagnilayan ang buhay ng Romanong Kapitan. Napatunayan niya na ang pagpapatayo niya ng sinagoga Walang magawa. Kapangyarihan niya bilang kapitan ng mga Romano, walang magawa. Pera niya, walang magawa. Siguridad ng buhay na meron siya, buhay ng mga nakapaligid sa kanya, wala. Malinaw sa kanya iyon. Sabi pa niya, hindi ko karapat dapat sa verse 7. Ano ang meron siya? Dakilang pananampalataya sa panahong sinubok ito. Ang tungkulin ng mabuting kristyano ay hindi limitado sa pagrorosaryo, pagdarasal, pagsisimba, pagpapagawa ng simbahan, kundi sa pagpapatunay ng pananampalataya sa panahon na sinusubok ito. Ganon na ikita ni Jesus ang mabuting kristyano. Sinabi mismo ni Jesus, kahit sa Israel ay hindi ako nakakita ng ganito kalaking pananampalataya. Ang Romanong kapitan, yung loyalty niya kay Caesar na hari ng panahong iyon, wala na. May matinding kinakapitan na ang kapitan. Napalitan na ng bagong hari ang buhay niya. My point, be humble. We have faith because God consoled us with His mercy and compassion. Not because of any grand works or sacrifices. Ephesians 2 verse 8 Our only participation is an unworthy yes. This reflection is a reminder that our faith is because of God's unfailing grace. We should endure hardships and sufferings with gratitude, knowing our faith is being tested and strengthened. James chapter 1 verse 3 Let us pray. May the testing of our faith bear a Christ-like image in us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.